Okay, here we have an example of a linear transformation. I have this transformation right here, t of xy is equal to x over 2 plus 3y, uh, comma, 3x over 4 plus y over 2. And I have a vector here, v, over here, and then this is the image of v, is t of v, right here. And so I can watch and see, t of x comma y, t of v, is a function, so as I change the input variable, uh, my outputs change as well. All right, so now what does it mean to say that we found an eigenvector for this linear transformation? What does it mean to say we found an eigenvector? Uh, first of all, the uh, transformation matrix for this transformation is over here. T is this matrix. And an eigenvector would be any vector where when I apply it to T, I just get a multiple, a constant multiple of that vector. What does that mean? That means I'm looking for places where the vector and the output are parallel. So right here, this is uh, an eigenvector. Okay, any, any vector along this line, when I apply the transformation to it, I get another vector that is double it. What this shows is that this vector right here, 2 comma 1, is an eigenvector and the associated eigenvalue is 2 because what the transformation does to this vector is it doubles it. Uh, are there any other eigenvectors? Well, I can kind of keep dragging this v around and look for another place where v and t of v are parallel. Aha! Okay, so here's another one. So this vector is also an eigenvector. This vector here, 2 comma negative 1, and the associated eigenvalue is negative 1 because t of v is negative 1 times v. It just switches the direction. So now I've graphed uh, grid lines along the um, eigenvectors. So the grid lines going in the uphill direction here from left to right, those are the grid lines associated with the eigenvector 2 comma 1. And then the grid lines that are going uh, downhill here from left to right are the grid lines associated with this eigenvector 2 comma negative 1. And how do these help me well, if I can express any input as a linear combination of the two eigenvectors, then I can really quickly see what it's going to do. So let's see an example here. As an example, let's consider uh, what I get if I do one of those and two of those, let's say. So this vector right here can be written as one of this eigenvector following this line and then two of this eigenvector. So one of these and two of those. And because I know that the linear transformation doubles this eigenvector and then takes the opposite of this one, then I know that I'm going to take this one of these and double that to get two of those. And then I'm going to take these two going this way, the linear transformation sends them in the opposite direction, so I'll have two going the other way. So I'll get two up and then two back that way. And then, as I see, that's my t of v right there. So you can check this with any particular uh, vector that you can express as a linear combination. This is two of those uh, and one back this way. So this is going to take negative of those and then double that. So I'm going to go up this way too and then double down that way. Oops, and then I'm right off the screen. And there it is. Two of those and then two back this way. 